Hello and welcome to the first part of the XCAM tutorial video. My name is C. Lola and the first thing I have to say is my English is so, so bad. So I hope you guys understand what I have to say about the XCAM and otherwise let me know. If you start the XCAM for the very first time then you have to create an object library and that's the reason for this first dialog so it's a list of all available object classes and now you have to select these object classes you want to use with the XCAM. At this point you normally select all object classes by press this button but if you have installed the XCAM prototype map then it's a good idea to select the XCAM classes only because with this selection now you get all the AIA terrain pack objects and also all armor 3 objects and of course all the nice object packs from Poolpunk so this is really a good start it's also possible of course to select a single object class so for example if you have your own object pack and you want that this pack is part of the XCAM object library then simply double left click this object class and it's then selected so double left click again to unselect but don't worry about your selection here because later it's always possible to delete or add object classes. This is only because the XCAM uh, needs an object library to start. Okay, now you have to press the start button to create the library and this will take some minutes depending on how many object classes you have selected. So here we go. Now the object library is created and this library contains around about 6500 objects. So this is really a huge amount. What you now see is a default user interface of the XCAM and the first thing you have to know is that there are four different working layers and this video tutorial shows you only the possibilities of the object and the settings layer. So the other two layers, unit and vehicle, are still work in progress. And you know, if you want to have a look at these layers, play around a little bit, you can do that, but it's not ready yet. In connection to this, um, every time you start the XCAM, you will start at the unit layer. So if you work with objects you have first to switch to the object layer. Otherwise you are not able to select any object or to start a function. So this point is really important and every time you start the XCAM please switch first to the object layer. To switch between the layers use these four buttons as you can see the unit layer is active currently and you can switch by simply hit the button so now we go to the object layer and each layer has different possibilities different functionalities and so on and at this layer the object layer you see you have access to to these buttons here in the top of the screen and before we start to play some objects we have to set up the additional dialog elements like the favorite list of prefab list and so on because at the beginning all these elements are placed in the middle of the screen and we have to to find a new position for each element I will show you this now in a very fast way step by step, list by list and at the end I will save all the new positions as a new 
default layout. Here we go. As you can see, I have moved each list to a new position and now it's time to save all these new positions as a new default layout. So you can do this by hold down the left shift key and then press a pause key. If you later change the position of a list or maybe the size like this then you are able to move them back to the safe position simply by press uh, pause key only so as you can see that's really nice there is one thing you have to know about resizing a list mm, that's maybe a bug I don't know so I turn off these lists and then I show you this bug with a favorite list. If you change the x size of a list it, it works, but if you change the y size you are not able to select any entry in the lower part of the list. I don't know why. I think it's it's a bug. So now I press the pause key to bring the list back to the last safe position. So if you change the y size of a list, please change it only a little bit, for example, to see the last entry in the list. So like this. Um, normally I want to create some objects now, but I think it's a good idea to show you first the whole camera control, because this control is a little bit different. And the main difference is that the camera is always looking to the ground and you are not able to look into the air because you place objects on the ground. So that's the main reason for this difference. Press and hold down the right mouse button to rotate the camera around the target position. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out. Press and hold down the left mouse button to pan the camera and of course press the WASD keys to, to move the camera. And if you want to speed up the camera movement then you can additionally hold down the left ALT key. For example if you pan the camera and now you hold down the left ALT key uh, it's, it's much faster the movement. The same if you press the WASD keys. There is also the possibility to quick move the camera to any position you want. For this action you you have to open the map by pressing M on your keyboard, single left click any position on the map to to move the camera to this position. Press M again to close the map. If you want to return the camera to the position of the player unit, then press the home key. So as you can see now I'm back at the player's position. If you want to set the player unit to the position of your mouse pointer, then press insert, the insert key. As you can see, every time I press insert, the player unit is placed at the position of the mouse pointer. Okay. In connection to the camera movement, there are some options, and if you press this button 
you reach the settings layer and there is an option camera settings and the first point here is camera speed and here you can see three different values and the first value is the speed if the camera speed if you press WASD if you want to increase the speed change the value and then as you can see you have a much faster speed the second one is the factor if you press and hold down the left alt key and the last point here is the mouse speed means the speed if you pan the camera so if you want it a little bit slower decrease the value and as you can see the speed is slower so if you have found the right settings you can save all the values as a new default setting value and you have some other options here you can change the camera zoom field of view the speed of the camera rotation and camera delay is work in progress so don't use it or use it at your own risk so that's the points for the camera movement but here you can also find two other options of interest so for example the library settings and if you hit this button rebuild object library you will see in this list and here you can unload an object class or you can add a new one though for example if you want to add a new object class I will try this one select the respective entry and then hit the rebuild button and that's all this object class is now part of the XCAM object library so we can check it out I close this dialog and switch back to the object layer and at the end of the list you see the new object class because it's part of the part of the object library now okay I go go back and I will unload this object class again yeah that's all and the second interesting option here is uh, color settings option but I don't want to explain you how it works and what you can do here there is only one thing you have to know and that is you can load a different color scheme if you want so press this load button to get an overview of all available color schemes now the select one I try to find my favorite this one yeah no joke I think it was this one so now close the list and from now on you have a new default color scheme activated we can check it out so we'll restart the mission and you will see that the new color scheme is active it's only nice to have nothing else but you know I like it so we can do it once more go to the settings page select color settings press the load button select a color scheme close that's all okay I think this part is now over here because all the things about objects will start in the second part of the tutorial thanks for watching and you know have fun mm -hmm.